Hello lads and ladies and welcome to this and welcome back for another video on the channel. Today it is Fleetwood Town against Charlton Athletic vlog. Yes, back on home soil, back to home comforts. After what seems a month full of away days, we're back to Highbury Stadium today. After the madness of the Sunderland home game, 2-0 down, 2-2 draw. And again, five goals scored in the last few games and five goals conceded away from home. So hopefully today we can get a win. Hopefully today we can get a clean sheet. We're playing Charlton, who have had a dreadful start to the season. Nigel Atkins is under pressure. They've been embarrassing and spineless and pathetic, really. The performances don't match what Charlton Athletic should be at, in my opinion. They're a big club. They should be fighting for that top two, minimum the top six. And it's a, it's a shame for the supporters. They deserve better. Hopefully that doesn't change today. It's going to be a good game. I'm going for a 1-1 draw today. I think we won't concede as many. We won't quite get the win. But a 1-1 draw, I think Fleetwood would probably take that. Carry on on beating. And Charlton won't be losing the game of football. Let's get down to Highbury Stadium and watch the lads. Here is Charlton fan and vlogger Tyler Rowlinson with his thoughts on their disappointing season and Nigel Atkins so far. Alright guys, it's Tyler Rowlinson here. I'm a Charlton Athletic content creator and I've been asked by Ben to give my score prediction for today's game between Fleetwood and Charlton. Charlton season so far has been nothing short of a disaster really. We've won only one game of our opening 10 matches. We're second bottom in the league and we've just been seeing the same uninspiring football every single week and I'm seeing no signs of it improving really. As for Nigel Adkins, it's time to go really. It is time to go. I'm very surprised he's still in the job. I think he should have been sacked ages ago. I just don't think he's got the same manager pedigree that he had a few years ago and if we lose today and he's still in the job then... We are screwed. Prediction, I'm going to go with an optimistic 2-1 win. Adkins needs to get it right today. We need to get out of the position that we're in and we need to go on a good run. So I'm going to go with a 2-1 win. So we're here in Fleetwood, just outside Highbury Stadium, as we play Charlton Athletic today. In need of a win, just a 1-1 win in 10. No wins in 5. Atkins is feeling the pressure. And I, I believe they haven't played the best of football all year, really. And it is kind of outdated. And I think if he doesn't win today, I would be surprised if he was in a job if he did, didn't get a win today. Ellis, tough game today. What, what are you thinking? Well, Charlton on the ropes at the moment, 23rd in the table. Uh, out of four games, they've made two points. It's, it's not looking good for Atkins. Uh, so I'm going to go... I, I, we're going to stay strong this game and we're going to go eight unbeaten. So here with JJ, he's been in the vlog a couple of times, it's been a couple of years, it's changed a lot. What are you thinking today, mate? Obviously a lot has changed at the football club as well, you know, a playoff to see, you know, kind of a mid-table finish last year. What are you thinking this year, mate? Uh, I think we'll do slightly better than last season. Hopefully we score a lot of goals because that's what we were missing last season, goals. Finishing 15th it was, wasn't it? Uh, but uh, I think we'll finish about 12th this season, or 13th. We are, we are scoring a lot of goals at the minute, but boy, are we conceding. Gray airs at 19. It's not the one watching our back three or the back four at the moment. And Jordan, back by slightly popular demand. Good point the other day. Daniel Batty, you know, he'll come to Kings for two or three. What, what do you think his drink of choice would be if he came to the Kings? Um, I think that Dan Batty, he would be a bit of a Moretti man, you see, because he likes some more finer things in life. Uh, Moretti, a Jaeger bomb. And Fleetwood Town. Nobby's nuts. And Fleetwood Town. And the Cods. And the game of pool and the game of darts. I'm not afraid of fucking money, Ben. <laughs> what are your scores going to be anyway? Uh, well, the Cods today, 3 0. Um, <laughs> I think it'll be 2 1 to the Cods. I reckon we're going to get a goal from Jed Garner, and I'm going to go bold here, lads. And James Hill. By the way, Dan these Batty, two lads, Batty, I love you. these two lads don't echo I the use you, Dan. of Cod's vlogs. Guaranteed 
now. That should be 1 0. It's a great cut across. And again, Charlie Kirk puts it wide. The next crew man should be 1 0. It's just that look that they've got had at the moment. Well, it's Jonathan Lecco, he cut inside, it's a great finish into the far corner and I love that shit housing from their players coming over to our fans. It's a great finish and shot and lead at Ivory, it's just the head start they needed. We have got all our points this year from losing positions, conceding first. Fucking get out! Poor first half performance. Like they scored a very good goal. But other than that, we've done nothing. We've gave the ball away in key areas. Not great. Danny Andrew Reigns. One one.
not concede two goals every game, never made at home. Embarrassing. Teams come in, they've been the better side going forward. We've not got it much. A great finish, 2 to 1, and show the lead at Ivory. Embarrassing. Oh, the best of shots for the rest of the season. I'll see you next week on the cards. <laughs>